So most of this morning we had a lot of our rainfall in the northern counties, but a lot of that is starting to move back into the bluegrass. So these totals have been going up quite a bit over the last 24 to even uh, 30 minutes. We look Shelbyville 1.9, Simpsonville 2.1. This is since midnight. Uh, but areas even in Lexington now starting to get over a half of an inch in some areas there. Uh, our sensor, our, meso, our mesonet sensor in southwest Lexington at 0.8 this morning. Danville had quite a bit, 1.8 there. Campbellsville, 2.1. So a lot of our lakes region hit hard yesterday. Not so much this morning, but keep in mind that it's only a matter of time before the rain starts to move back in. There was one little sliver that really got hit this morning, and that was uh, anywhere from northern Estill County all the way through West Liberty and Morgan and some areas were exceeding 2.5 inches of rainfall since midnight. So a lot there. That's why the flash flooding was an issue this morning. A lot of that has started to come down, but keep in mind the flooding will continue there for uh, quite a while, probably into the early parts of the afternoon. If we go beyond just this morning, we look at the last couple of days. We're looking at uh, anywhere in between two, two and a half and up to four inches of rainfall or at least getting pretty close to it over there in Albany. It's only a matter of time before that reaches four because you see the rainfall that is now moving back in for those areas. A lot of this moving east, so it's it's areas that have been having a break this morning that are now getting those at least light rain showers. But uh, as we go later on into the morning and then eventually to the afternoon, a lot of that will start to get pretty heavy at times. Where the heaviest of the rain sits in the northern bluegrass, Grant Pendleton getting out uh, Northern Scott County likely getting some pretty heavy rainfall. If you're traveling, if you're going to be traveling 75 north, you'll be kind of running into that over the next few hours. Uh, some lighter rainfall out towards our eastern counties, but a lot of those areas that were uh, hit with the, the rain early this morning still kind of getting just a little bit of light rain at this point. But still the flash flood warning until the end of the show. And then after that, it becomes a just regular flood warning at that point. And that will go until the early afternoon. Flood warning in effect for Shelby County, but also Spencer, Bullitt and Jefferson included in on that. That goes until noon and until one o'clock this afternoon. The flood warning has been extended for Clay, Knox and for Leslie. So it's uh, really just showing you that things are pretty bad out there at this point for certain areas, others not so much. But with more rain in the forecast, everyone has that chance. So that's why the, fl the flood watch will continue until tomorrow morning. So cold front sliding east, bringing that heavy rain with it. There will be some thunderstorm activity, especially as we get some heating going today. So watch out for that this afternoon. That's going to be the potential for damaging wind gusts but also some very heavy rainfall, some very uh, torrential rainfall that comes with that. By mid morning tomorrow, we're finished with this batch of rain. We're going to keep it finished until we get to Tuesday when another round may come through. I think a lot of that's going to be Virga falling into dry air evaporating, but really that's the only hiccup that we have in a, an otherwise really nice forecast coming up after this. So you see that rain really getting going by the late morning hours, kind of a band of rain with a few thunderstorms. Uh, coming in by the early afternoon for the bluegrass that slides into the eastern counties and by the time we get into the evening we should be seeing quite a bit of thunderstorm activity with a squall line in our southern counties which is where that better potential is for any kind of severe thunderstorm activity it's still very small on the marginal risk but just be aware that some of those wind gusts could get uh, pretty high and if they kind of exceed into that 60 mile per hour range then yeah we're looking at uh, the potential for some damaging wind gust out there. Other than that, though, you see a lot of clearing until we get to Tuesday. A few showers will roll in. That's the only chance that we really have for the rest of the week. But temperatures rebounding from the mid 40s all the way back up to the mid 50s. Getting into March, things are going to be looking much better, but also feeling a lot better as well. With all that sunshine by the end of the week, things will be looking good. Seth, thank you.